So we left Naples and took a train down to the Amalfi Coast, a stretch of coastline in southern Italy known for its cliffside terraces, turquoise waters, and unbelievable views. Since we booked on a whim, it was much cheaper to stay somewhere between Italy and the coast, so we booked an Airbnb in Castellamare di Stabia. So we're on our way to the Amalfi Coast, and we're on a train that takes about an hour to get there. After a quick break, we took the hour-long train ride into Sorrento, the gateway to the Amalfi Coast. The Amalfi Coast is known for being expensive, so we went to a market and bought what we needed for a cheap meal and some wine. Alright, one way to save money is to come to an alleyway like this or to the beach and make your own sandwich. So we've got some salami, some cream cheese, some lettuce. And we just made sandwiches for about four euros for four. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Because of the shape of this cove, from here we could see the whole bay and its turquoise waters, the houses and restaurants above, and a beach below. We stood here for a long time taking it in. Okay, we are in Sorrento. With its location on the north coast of the peninsula, Sorrento is perfectly situated looking over the Bay of Naples and Mount Vesuvius. What do you think of Sorrento so far? You can smell lemon in the air because Sorrento is known for its lemons. And it's also where limoncello comes from, one of the famous drinks of Italy. So this is limoncello, the liqueur of Sorrento. We're gonna try this later. So we're in Sorrento, one of the most beautiful places in Italy. And Italy is one of the most alluring places in the world. So I think that means Sorrento is one of the most beautiful places in the world. We made our way down to the water for a new perspective. So here in this region you have black sand beaches because of Mount Vesuvius, the volcano. Sorrento is the perfect place to get lost in its narrow streets and alleyways where you'll discover colorful shops and trattorias. Most likely you'll find your way into an amazing view.
So Sorrento is kind of the gateway to the Amalfi Coast. So hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to show you Amalfi, Positano, and maybe a couple other places. We'll see where we get. So it takes about an hour from Naples to get here. And in our case, we, we're staying at Castelle de Mare, which is about a half an hour, or what, 20 minutes on the train. Yeah. Alright, so if you want to go shopping, you're going to go to Via Fioro. <laughs> Fioro or something like that. And that's where the main street is, this really narrow street that has everything you could want in Sorrento. But let's go find some limoncello since it's from this region of Italy. Okay, so something you should do when you're in Sorrento is you shouldn't just stay on the main drag. What I really like to do when I come here is to get up into the hills and that's where you really get the views like this. So when you come up here past the city, this is where you can get a whole view of the city because of the winding. Our last stop in Sorrento was something we came across accidentally. There's a deep canyon with thick vegetation where you'll see the old abandoned mill. It was used during the 900s and abandoned around 1866. This is one of the most impressive places on the Amalfi Coast. Tomorrow, let's see more. Please subscribe and click the like button, it really helps me out.